Okay, welcome to Chef D's Home Cooking. Today I got some, I'm gonna be doing some beans. I don't do beans much, but we are gonna do some, some, some butter beans. We got some beautiful fresh butter beans being washed and clean. So we got those all washed and clean. Uh, my seasoning is garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and let Cajun seasoning with some uh, parsley. And also got some a bell pepper. And also got some onion there. Kind of already been chopped up from the holidays. I need to go ahead and use that stuff. But anyway, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, Chef D's Home Cooking. I don't know if I'm on the screen. I'm doing this alone today, so bear with me. And here I got some smoked turkey next. And I got some, I'm going to put two different kinds of smoked uh, sauce in it. I got some here. I'm going to finish cutting up and uh, we're going to see how that going to go. So anyway, we're going to get, get y'all a closer look over here. I think we should be okay. So anyway, we're going to uh, see if I can get a little closer look on the ceiling. Okay, that's good. So, yeah. Been busy later, but here we're gonna go in. We're gonna start trying to get all this done for the kids walking here from school. So we're gonna get this all prepped up. Once again, we're gonna be doing butter beans with smoked sausage and smoked turkey necks. It's gonna be an awesome recipe. So follow along. All the ingredients gonna be in the video. So I'm gonna start by cutting up some of this smoked sausage. You can use whatever smoked sausage you want. You can use turkey sauce, you can use beef, but this is a great sauce that I buy from Sam's. They got a great smoke sauce. This is a green onion smoke sauce. I'm also gonna add some green onion in here at the end, some chopped green onion almost at the end. I don't like putting them at the very start because I love green onion. We'll continue to chop this up. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna throw that in the bowl with the smoked meat. Everything. All your sauces here. A lot of people go ahead and cook theirs before, but I don't think it makes any sense. But we're gonna go ahead and cut this bell pepper up, like so. We're gonna use this whole bell pepper. Some people call them green pepper. We call them bell peppers. Okay. Get them that off, and so we're gonna chop those up, like so. It should take maybe a couple hours to cook these uh, butter beans. It'll be awesome. And chop back these bell peppers up. I love cooking beans. They're wonderful. So good protein. Okay, we got the one bell pepper cut up. Also, I got some, I love using broth. I'm gonna use some chicken broth. So, you know, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna add some, add some oil to the beans once we put the uh, broth in. And we got some onion here. Just cut these up a little bit. They've just been rained out. These are holiday onions, so we're gonna go ahead and use them up. I got probably a couple more bags like that I need to start using them up. We just want to cut a few up and add them to it. Chop them up too. I'm gonna put two in it. That's about a, about a medium onion. Let's put a little bit more. Make it a whole. Okay, that should be it. That. That's the end of that. Uh, that's most of the ice. We're gonna throw that out. Okay. Make sure we still on. Wipe my knife off, and we're gonna get it back on the beans. Let me get my camera going. Back to the pot. Bring it back out, and get it down like so. And that's perfect right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the stove on high. Right at high anyway, so we're gonna get it going. We're gonna add the, we're gonna go ahead and add in 
What we got here? Two 32 ounces of chicken broth. You can use water or whatever, but this, this is what I have. I know I'm gonna have to add some more later, so I, it'll be warmer. We're gonna go ahead and add this to it, because it, it seems to give it a lot of flavor. We're gonna add both of them in. It's just regular chicken broth. Believe me, my stove is not doing that, which y'all see on the camera. I don't know why it's doing that, but it, it's really 311. I don't know why it's not showing a solid 311, but I don't know why it's doing that little crazy stuff, but hey. So, okay, all right, we're gonna get that going. Get me a spoon. I told you I never have everything when I'm cooking. But we okay, we okay. That's it. We're gonna get that going and we're gonna add a little oil to it. Not much, maybe a cup of, about a tablespoon. That makes it creamy at the end a little bit. Okay, we're gonna add some salt. They probably wait some salt. That's about a tablespoon of salt. Everybody know I don't like the mess, so we're gonna get this going. We're gonna let that come up. I don't gonna have to add some more uh, liquid to it, but we add the salt. We're gonna add the garlic powder and all that right now, the onion powder. Get all that in there. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna wait till the uh, a minute and put the uh the Cajun season with some parsley. But like I say, when you're cooking beans, it don't matter. You don't have to. I mean, a lot of people go on brown eggs off in the skillet, but I think they're leaving all the flavor in the skillet. I mean, this this stuff will be perfect just like this when you put it in. So you really don't have to brown it. You really don't have to cook your onions and all that stuff first. This all you have to do right here. What I'm doing, you don't have to cook it. Yeah, I promise you, it won't be no difference. I'm gonna add the onion and the bell pepper in here. Like so. That's one bell pepper and probably one onion. We'll so get that going. Get all that off. Put that over there. Okay. Once it comes to a bar, you can lower it and put it on medium. Get it a little closer so you can see inside. See what I'm working with. I think that's awesome right there. Okay. We try to get this channel going a little more by cooking more. So continue to watch, subscribe. So I can make make more and more and more and more recipes. I got some great recipes. So I'll let the kids cook with me, see if we can draw some uh, attention with that. So, I love my kids in the kitchen with me. But that's when I learned. We're going to add this bottle of water also, so I'm going to think we got enough liquor. We're going to wait till the end and add that. I like putting a little more water in it. Okay. Just waiting for it to come up to a ball. I got it on high. In fact, we can go ahead and throw the Cajun season in the pot in there. I said, we're gonna do the green onion almost at the end. These are fresh butter beans. Some people call them llama beans. I don't know why, but these are butter beans. I definitely need to define that. Okay, see if we got enough salt. Yeah, that's gonna be good until we get going. But like I said, you can use, you know, a ham hock. You know, I use ham hock in my red beans, but uh, I'm gonna be cooking more beans and more beans. So I'm gonna try to keep that going because beans is everything to me. I love beans. The kids love them. So we're gonna try some of these butter beans today with these smoked turkey necks and some awesome, awesome smoked sausage, green onion smoked sausage. So pretty much people use salt pork. You can put that in your beans, but uh, me, I just stick with the my tradition of the sausage. I use this most of the time, because you know, you can put smoked turkey neck. You know, you have pigtails. Some people put smoked pigtails, and I usually they just put 
pigtail in them. But, you know, people tend to do what they want to do. So, hey, I put in what I eat. So, we're going to have an awesome time with these things. They're going to come out really, really nice. Can't wait to show y'all the finished product. Awesome. So, we're going to get this. Thank you getting hot now. So, let's let that cook a little more. Some people put garlic, but in this recipe, I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use fresh garlic. We just gonna keep it. Uh, no, one more main ingredient. I love putting. You know, once again, better than bouillon. This is some great flavor. I'm gonna add some of this in too once we get to a bar. This is some awesome flavor. You can use it in gravy, whatever you want. You know, whatever you want. That my last recipe was awesome. Came out great. The jerk chicken with the peas and rice. Check that video out. It's awesome. Follow that video. Try that recipe. It is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we come into a ball. And once we get them to a ball, and Lord, we're going we're gonna to put the... Uh, we're going to put the meats in and we're going to cover it up and we're going to let it go for about a couple hours. You know, it's going to be awesome. Chef D's home cooking. This is what it looks like. This, and it don't take much. This jaw here, I had this jaw since, since the holiday and I use it. If you look at my rubber peas, I use it a lot. Engraving it. Put so much flavor. We're going to put a couple of these in. Gonna make it even better. Awesome. Okay. Coming to a bowl. You know, if you want dice or hell or penny up in there, that's fine. But these are fresh butter beans. And they're gonna be awesome. And we're gonna start adding things in. I see we got a bar coming. If you get your lid closer, you get to look down and see what we're working on. Okay, you can see that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got a bar going. We're going to get it going. And we can, at this point, we're going to grab the sausage in, all the smoked sausage. Wrapping in that just just adding flavor. When you do it from the beginning, I mean this sauce is not gonna cook the pieces. I promise you it won't. But we're gonna hold off on the smoked turkey next. We're gonna let this go for about a hour. before I put the smoked turkey neck in, I'm gonna put them in after an hour. And I'm gonna put those in for the last hour. Because I don't want to, you know, sometimes they just cook off the bones and you get all the bone fragment in there and the kids don't like that. They'll be saying, Dad, I got bones in here. I, you know, they really don't like that, but this stuff been smoked already. It's pretty much tender already, so that's why I wait until an hour or either 45 minutes before they're done. But you don't want to cook them to death. The same thing with the uh, ham hock. I mean, you can go ahead and do your ham hocks and boil those up in some water or whatever you want to boil them in and use that same broth to put your beans in. Come out flavor, but you may have to add some more liquid to that. But this is what we got going on right now. I'm going to save these until about an hour or 45 minutes before I turn them off. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. And uh, I'm going to add some more water. Don't worry about that. That flavor on top is heat forming up. But this probably, I probably won't have to add no more liquid to these. I think they're going to get soft. And, and pretty much at, almost at the end, you want to mash a few up to the side of the pot. That makes them... That makes them real creamy. I ask for any bean. I notice a lot of folks don't do that. And you know, you don't want your beans, once you put it on your rice, all your 
You know, you don't want your bean water. You mash them up a little bit. You don't have to take them out the pot. And I'll show you later on. Or uh, when you mash them up, but you take the whatever I did with my spoon. When you take your cooking spoon, you mash them up, but they gotta be soft. So make make sure if by the maybe, in, you know, twenty minutes before they're done, just mash a few of them up on the side and watch how creamy it get. This 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 chef DT. I'm t this is this is my school. I'm telling you, that's all you have to do. I watch people take some out and mash them in a cup. Oh man, that's that's just a waste of time. Just take your spoon. Mash them on the side. They get like once again. They have to be soft. So you wait twenty minutes before they're done, because they, they're gonna take up promptly two hours for these beans. I'm putting them at two hours, and they're gonna be finished and they're gonna be creamy. So make sure you stay tuned when I come back and show you the final product, how that process works, and I'll be right back with the final product. Okay, welcome back. My butter bean been cooking for about two hours and a little bit, a little bit around two hours. We're gonna raise the lid up and see what we got right here. At the time we were waiting, uh, this is what we got right here. I put on a pot of white rice just, just to fix up a bowl. And this is what I'm talking about, about. This is what it's supposed to look like, nice and creamy, but I'm about to show you that step where you start. If you don't think you got the right consistency, like like watery like that, you you want to mash a few of them. Let me give you a closer look inside the pot. Bring it a little closer. I don't know if y'all can see that, but right now, uh, this is this butter bean. Look at that, We're nice and pretty soft butter bean. But what I'm talking about, what we were talking about earlier, we got the turkey next. I put in them about 30 minutes ago. And right now, we're going to, uh, that's what all you got to do is take your spoon. You see the beans right here. Clear out some of the meat. You just mash them, get the pot like so, like this. Stir around and mash. Just like that. You don't have to take them out and put them in a coffee cup or none of that stuff. Just take Follow along with Chef D. You'll learn a lot. Awesome. See how creamy they get? Everything coming together now. We're going to bowl up some. We'll put a... These are, they got great flavor. The turkey necks are good. I say I didn't see how they are now. That's the way they boil be. If I don't put them in right at the start, they'll be torn apart. These beans have an abundant flavor, lots of flavor. So we're going to cook them for about another three to four minutes, just mashing a few more, get them a little creamy. So like I said, you don't want them running right through your rice and everything else sitting on top of the rice. That's not the consistency you're looking for. Okay. Again, we got some fresh llama with some fresh butter bean here. Came out awesome. We got a bowl, we're gonna put some in right here with some rice and we're gonna try them out. But once again, I've been uh, cooking them for about right at two hours. They are done. We just wanna cook them a little bit more and let them get creamed up a little more. And uh, you know, the ingredients are in the video. If you go back and you know, you watch the video, the ingredients in there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video. A lot of, I mean, every if you when, when you're cooking beans, I mean, you cook them all alike. You're going to boil until they get soft. If they ain't soft enough, enough, add more water. Add more water. Just keep adding water until they get soft. And I find that red beans take the longest. I mean, white beans don't take much longer. You got pinto beans don't take long. And these butter beans, I mean, I mean, they cut two hours ain't bad and uh, we're gonna mash a few more but you cook every bean the same everyone come out the same just start it off in water bone and mash them on the side like this you won't get them creamy once again just mash them chef d i'm gonna make this stuff up 
We're gonna let them cook them about another two minutes. We're gonna boil up some. Let me give you a closer look. Show you how creamy they are. Turn this light off right here. You get a better look. But that's pretty much what they look like. Let me see if I can get you inside the pot. Right there. That's what they're supposed to look like. Chef these home cooking. And like I said, I had a few green onion in on top. At the end of it. That's a green onion. Gonna roll over here, but there we go. Creamy. See how the cook's got a turkey neck to falling off the bone. That's awesome. That are definitely ready to go. And right now we're gonna run on bone up some. So that can be the mash enough. I'm gonna get me a spoon to serve up some. Awesome, awesome video. here and press it down. Got some rice we're gonna put in here. And I'm gonna like not much. Just one. We can turn these beans off or down. Just try to flatten it out so the rice will stay together. I think we can get off the beans. Now we're gonna spread it back out so we can see. Okay. I'm gonna put some, throw some rice in that bowl. Pretty much what they look like, right here. And we're gonna put some beans up in here. I think we good. So if you can't, I mean, this, this is just this stuff. This is the best you're gonna get it right here. Creamy. We're gonna take some and we're gonna put on top of the rice. You see what I mean? Where, where your beans and your, your sauce, your gravy don't go right through the rice. It's perfect. That's what you're looking for. We'll put a couple. We're gonna put one turkey neck on there. Awesome. Some of the sauces. And I'll find another turkey neck. Make it presentable. And that's pretty much it right there. And we're gonna taste them. We're gonna top the lid. We're gonna top this up and we're gonna see what it tastes like. To wipe my bowl off. Now with sauce on it. Mm. That's what we have there. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Put the beans over here because they're done. I'm gonna turn everything off. And we're gonna taste these, baby. Then, hey, all you need is some cornbread. That I don't have. But this is, this is it right here. Just a good look. Right there. Great old butter beans. So we're going to taste some of it. Let's see what we got. Awesome. I'm going to blow it. I don't want to burn my mouth off. Mm, mm, mm. Man, this is awesome. This is, now this new lamb is cooking right here. This is so good. Haven't had these in a while, but stay tuned. I'm gonna be cooking a lot more beans. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that's good. Thank you, Lord. Man, that is awesome. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it right here. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, like I said, the ingredients up in there. Follow, follow, follow that. Those uh, just follow that uh recipe and you seen what I did with the beans so they all came out awesome and uh thank y'all for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video because it's an awesome video these beans came out perfect they are awesome they are awesome let me give you a closer look they are awesome beautiful thank y'all share this video on Chef D just 
original butter beans with smoked turkey neck and smoked sausage. Thank y'all for watching Chef D's Home Cooking.